flexible demonstration. After four sections of modeling and introduction, finally we reach to the section 5, in which we will learn how to create animation and slides. We categorize this section based on difficulty. We start with the easiest topic and finish with the more complicated ones. In Academic Presenter, we have two different types of presentation. The first type is called Flexible Demonstration, which is non-linear presentation of visual contents. In Flexible Demonstration, a borderless canvas is provided and one can zoom or pan to any desirable place with any proper order. Camera is the only dynamic object in flexible demonstration. The other type is a slide-based presentation that has capability of presenting linear and non-linear topics. In a slide-based presentation, we will have series of keyframes. Each keyframe has the snapshot of all objects. Therefore, we can say a slide-based presentation is the general form of flexible demonstration. To start with, we are creating a simple presentation in which we have an image in background and also we add some visual contents on the background image. We extract the visual contents from the PowerPoint project. To do so, we have to pick a suitable background. We pick a background of microscope and we will add some elements on it. So let's begin with Photoshop. First of all, we pick a suitable background for our project and we wanted to make a similar uh, similar scene that we are seeing under the microscope so to do so first we are creating a perfect circle we select the perfect circle and then we will select the inverse of it and fill it out with the black color to make it more rea realistic first we are choosing a Gaussian blur and from there we choose proper level of blurness to make it more look like we are looking into the microscope we will save it as a background image we will choose jpeg format background.jpeg Choosing 11 as a uh, quality level is mm, suitable. Now, inside the academic presenter, we choose image from insert menu. And we will select the background that we already built in Photoshop. Now we will choose the boundary of image. We will select it with object selector and uh, retrieve its aspect ratio. Now, we have our background. Also, we need to change the background color. So the background is white. Now let's make it black to be totally uh, in accordance with our image. Now we have a PowerPoint and we wanted to extract some slides from this PowerPoint and put it on the microscope scene. So first from file menu, we will choose save as. and we will choose a folder for our uh, conversion and from the save as type we choose JPEG we will choose all the slides then we will pick some of them not all of them because it's just for the sake of demonstration we are doing it now it's announcing that you already saved all the slides on the on your computer so let's insert some slides from the destination folder from image powerpoint and we choose slide 3 and drag it on the microscope and we choose another slide like slide 5 with different sizes and different let's say images inside so you can see the difference between each slide I'm trying to pick some which they are we can easily distinguish them from their image now 
with the free transform we will choose each object and retrieve its aspect ratio by keeping a control uh, control key down we can change also their rotation so we move them we change their rotation so it's like it will be like a, a working place it's like a desktop and we are putting all the paper and pages of a slide on it we also add two PDF inside the this let's say microscope thing this is the first PDF and we are changing its location and rotation choosing the second PDF here we go okay now again we are changing its rotation let's arrange them by keeping the shift uh, button down we can change their size and control it can change the rotation of the object selected object and we are talking about the free transform tools now we have them now uh, our scene is almost ready now we wanted to make our uh, flexible demonstration from the presentation tab bar we are choosing add so by choosing add a, a keyframe will be added to our presentation as I told before each keyframe has the a snapshot of the all objects so by clicking on, on, on any object we are we can let's say fly over different content and because it's in our choice it's it's our choice it's totally non-linear so you can choose any subject you want and just um, just show and explain things based on your uh, your thought and your order that you are thinking it's more proper for example in here I, cho I uh, choose the PDF and also by pressing page donkey I was moving in different pages of the PDF as you can see that if we are clicking on each of them it was uh, keeping the rotation of the camera uh, unchanged but once we are clicking on an object when we wanted to display to the audience we want to be totally readable because otherwise the audience the viewers have to uh, let's say tilt their heads to read our text so we don't want this that's why from the background tab we have to tick the, uh, the checks box with the name of rotate canvas on click now let's uh, look at the this sample when the rotate canvas on click is checked so again from the run run in full screen mode and you can see that by clicking on e each of these uh, let's say slides it will rotate the camera such that always it will be in the center and unrotated Now we are going to the other paper, changing its page. And you can see that, and you can see that we can zoom in by scrolling and clicking. So there are two ways to zoom. First is just clicking on object, it will zoom to the selected object or uh, just uh, scroll the mouse now we are going to cate uh, categorize our subject so we are drawing a circle over the uh, slides and we are giving a name of category one to this circle so why do we do this because we wanted to let's say uh, categorize some uh, slides under some name and then we may also categorize those PDF under another name in here we are changing the text color font and the appearance of the that ellipse mm -hmm. 
removing field because we want it to not to be visible and changing the border color and border width so everybody can see that which slide belong to what category rotating it now you can see that these four slides are inside the category one okay a little bigger now it's better because we are creating a new object academic presenter should update the keyframe so first we have to update the new object inside our previous keyframe we click and select our first keyframe from the presentation tab and then click on update button we will press F11 instead of the clicking from the menu and you can see that if you are clicking on the category 1 all the slides related to category 1 will be shown but sometimes we wanted to also be able to click on each slide when we are on category but in here because the ellipse of category 1 is over the other slides we cannot do anything that's why we have to uh, let's say send it to the background send it more to the background such that the slides go over the category one so let's first change it the, it's like field so you can see that just one of them is over the category one now one by one they are coming over the field ellipse this will show that if you are clicking on the category one the ellipse of category one it will zoom into the category one but if you are clicking on the slides because the slides are over the ellipse it will zoom into each of these slides now zooming back zooming in into another slide zooming back so on so forth now if you wanted to change the uh, position of the camera by keyboard we just need to press control down and uh, arrows so control down and down arrow means that go down up means that go up uh, I just forget when you want to uh, return from the presentation mode get out of the presentation mode just press escape now we are saving this project as project 1 sample 1 save project is saved now we are going to create another project this time we are going to talk about the history of watch first we need to appreciate this beautiful watch that is designed by quantum uh, group so with photoshop we are just removing the text unwanted text we wanted to have just a just that background black background and we wanted to add our own customized content inside the background so first we are saving it this background watch as one png this time we are not choosing jpeg because jpeg is not saving the transparency we wanted that transparency this time so we are choosing it as one png this one this one will be the background of our watch now we need also this bright shine over our uh, over our watch wristwatch so how do we do this we keep this light and save it as another png so we can use it as a foreground layer over our watch in academic presenter here we are coming uh, we are naming it as 2.png and we are done right now with academy with photoshop now inside academic presenter from insert menu choose image and from here choose your watch one dot png okay from edit retrieve with aspect ratio let's it's a small we'll make it bigger okay 
when control R it retrieves its aspect ratio now from insert menu and from the insert menu choose image and now the second so you can see that this bright uh, let's say effect is smaller than real watch so we are choosing these two together the second one the second item that we are choosing is important because from here we want to try to e increase the size of the all the selected objects so we are first clicking on the bright light by keeping the control key down then we select the watch as the last item in our uh, selected item list by keeping the control down and from the pop-up menu we are choosing make same position and size and you can see that by choosing this item you have your uh, light exactly on proper place over your object now we want to add a text so in here we want a text that will be inserted inside that watch beautiful watch we change its color properties and other stuff font to 12 now here we have a a powerpoint presentation which seems not very attractive because of the background and everything we wanted to do magic so first we are copying the content coming here and pasting it text color to white so it's readable now changing alignment to the left and changing the size of this box to the proper size now let's put it proper place like it is inside the LCD now we can see that if you are deselecting it the bright the bright light will be under the rectangle but we don't want it so from the order we send it, it backwards so the light which was our last uh, object will come over the text now we have it here but we wanted now to change the properties of text so how do we do that we can press the control key down and press the S space so by pressing the S space when the control key is down we will switch between the object inside canvas now we change it to the arm field and make the border with zero Here we go. Uh, still, we don't we don't have it. So control key down, space space. Here we go. It's selected. Now we can change its height from the tab bar. Now with its opacity, we can see that where is the border of the text. Why do we need this? Because later on we wanted to select it and we wanted to zoom inside the text. Now, let's add it, some pictures also. From here, let's see. Okay, this picture is not very beautiful, but it's working for the demonstration. It works for demonstration purpose. So we are here. Let's put it here. So from clipboard, edit clipboard, paste image. You can see that we will have our image. Change that aspect ratio. Now, we are ready. From the background, we can choose different background colors. Okay, dark blue. Change it to gradient top to bottom. Let's change the first color again. A little darker. Here we go, it's better. 
now zoom to entire presentation now the watch will be in the center of the screen and add the current view as a keyframe here we go run in full screen mode and you can see that if you are clicking on objects the object will be zoomed but if you are clicking on the text what will happen because the text is under the sun under the light it's not selecting the text it's selecting the light so we wanted to make it over it but we don't want to lose the visual effect that's why we are adding another object on top of the text invisible object when we are clicking on the invisible object actually actually it is selecting that invisible object but we don't care because the text in under that invisible object will be more readable so in here if we are selecting the text actually it will select that rectangle over them but it will also select it will also show the text properly pressing escape returning to the normal mode now we want to add another text to add another text we could do it like previous time adding another rectangle and changing the stuff but we are not going to do it we are going to select our previous text because we want to keep the style and font everything the same and from here when we are when this text is selected we are choosing clone from edit so it will clone the text in another shape another uh, object but definitely we will change the inside so first we are selecting it we are changing the rotation to 90 degrees and here we are changing we are changing we are going to change the text so first we are going to the slide number six select the text copy it and then returning to academic presenter from the text we will paste it there now you can see that it's bigger than the previous one so we should be careful about the size size of this text but anyway for the test first let's try to update the current keyframe now we have it now let's zoom to entire presentation again update it because we want it to be the we want from the watch to be in the center now we have it here selecting the first text selecting image hold the watch and selecting the second text but as you can see the when we are selecting the second text it's not going to rotate the canvas so we need to check the rotate canvas checkbox from the background tab now here we go but as you can see the down part of text is gone why because the border of the text is outside of the object so we need to increase it keep the shift down and increase the size of the text zoom zoom to entire presentation and going to back presentation update the keyframe now let's try it again and you can see look there is a free space between the end of the text and the uh, the final this the final bottom part of the uh, rectangular boundary now we are when we are selecting the text it will show hold the text we are not missing any of material in the next video, I will show samples about a slide-based presentation. Thank you.